welcome to day 41. It's reading. Today, I'm supposed to be reading day, day 40 something. But because I'm late to some, I'm reading day 41 today. So, day 41, we are reading from Joshua chapter 14 to chapter 18. If this is your first time on this channel, check out the other videos that I've posted before. You will find it in a playlist in a playlist on my channel named Bible Challenge. Read everything and let's continue from it. After reading everything, now you can continue with this. So that you have a good understanding of where we've been coming from. We've been coming from a far place. A very far place from Genesis. Today we are reading from Joshua chapter 14 to chapter 18. The continuation of the last video. Let's get to it. Chapter 14. These are the areas which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed as an inheritance to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord commanded, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses. For the nine tribes and the half tribes, and the half tribe, for Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes, have given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half tribe on the other side of the Jordan. But to the Levites, he had given no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave no part to the Levites in the land, except cities to dwell, except cities to dwell in, with their common land for their livestock and their property, as the Lord had commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnum. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnum to spy out to spy out the land, and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren, who went up with me, made the earth of the people melt, but I only followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have only followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, and he said, These forty-five years, has kept me alive, as he said, these forty-five years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, here I am this day, eighty-five years old, and yet I am as strong this day as on the as on the day that Moses sent me, just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and for coming in. Now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For he, for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and that the cities and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and shall be and I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, as an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron formerly was Kijat Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim. Oh. Then the land had rest from war. Chapter 15. So this... Oh, a long chapter. So this was the lot of the tribe of the children of Israel. So this was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. The border of Edom at the wilderness of Zin, southward, southward was the extreme southern boundary, and their southern border began at the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that faces southward. Then it came out to the southern side of the ascent of, of the ascent of Akrabim, passed along to Zin. Ascended on the south side of Kadesh Barna, passed along to Ezron, went up to Ada, and went around to Karka. And uh, I don't understand what I, what I just read. <laughs> Seriously, I don't understand. From there, it passed towards toward Asmon and went out to the brook of Egypt, and the border ended at the sea. This shall be your southern border. The east border was the salt sea as far as the mouth of the Jordan, and the border on the northern quarter began at the bay of the sea at the at the mouth of the Jordan. The border went up to Beth Ogla and passed north of Beth Araba, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the Sea of Reuben. Then the border went up 
towards debris from the valley of Akor, and it turned to and it turned northward toward Gilgal, which is before the ascent of Adumim, which is on the south side of the valley. The border continued toward the water of Enishemesh and ended at En Rogel, and the border went up by the valley of the son of Enom to the southern slope of the Jebusite city, which is Jerusalem. The border went up to the city to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Enom westward, which is at the end of the valley of Revine northward. Then the border went around from the top of the hill to the fountain of the water of Nephtoa and extended to the cities of Mount Evron. And the border went around to Bala, which is Kijat Jerim. Then the border turned westward from Bala to Mount Seir. Passed along to the side of Mount Jerim on the north, which is Je Chesalon, went down to Beth Shemesh and passed on to Timna, and the border went out to the side of Ekron north northward. Then the border went around to Shikron, passed along to Mount Bala, and extended to Jagni, and the border ended at the sea. The west border was the coastline of the Great Sea. This is the boundary of the children of Judah, all around all around, according to their families. Is that right? Now to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a share among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, namely Kijat Abba, which is Hebron. Abba was the father of Anak. Caleb drove, Caleb drove out the three sons of Anak from there, Sheshai, Aiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. Then he went up from there to the inhabitants of Debir. Formerly the name of Debir was Kijat Sefer. -se and Caleb said, He who attacks Kijat Sephar and takes it, to him I will give Aksha, my daughter, as wife. So Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it and gave him Aksha, his daughter, as wife. Ooh. Now it was so, when she came to him, that she persuaded him to ask her father for a feud. So she dismounted from her donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you wish? She answered, Give me a blessing, since you have given me land in the south. Give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This was the inheritance, inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. The city at the limits of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the border of Edom in the south, where, where Kabzu, Eder, Jagal, Kinan, Dimona, Adada, Kedesh, Azor, Itnan, Ziv, Telem. Please, to make sure you are getting the right thing. And not just hearing this thing. Take a Bible. Read while you listen. Bealot, Azar, Adata, Keriot, Ivron, which is Azor, Amam, Shema, Molada, Azar Gada, Eshmon, Beth Pellet, Azar Shua, Brasheba, Biz Bizjotja, Bala, Ijim, Ezem, El Todlad, Chelzil, Orma. Ziklag, Madmana, Zansana. <laughs> what language is this? Lebaut, Shilim, Ain, and Rimon. All the cities are 29 with their villages. In the lowland, Eshtaol, Zora, Ashna, Zanot, Zanoa, Enganim, Tupwa, Enam, Jamot, Adlam, Sokor, Sokor, Azeka. Zar Sharain, Aditain, Gedera, and Gederotain, 14 cities with their villages. Zenan, Adasha, Migdal Gad, Dilian, Mizpa, Joktil, Lakish, Boz, Boskat, Iglon, Carbon, Lamas, Kitlish, Keder Gederot, Beth Dagon, Nama, and Makeda, 16 cities with their villages. That does not sound like 15 city. Seriously. 16 cities with their villages. That's so long. Libna, Ether, Ashan, Jifta, Ashna, Nezib, Kayla, Akshib, Akzib, and Merash, and Maresha. Nine cities with their villages. Ekron with its towns and villages from Ekron to the sea. All that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod with its towns and villages, Gaza with its towns and villages, as far as the brook of Egypt and the Great Sea with its coastline, and in the mountain and in the mountain country, Shamri, Jatil, Sokor, Dana, 
Kijat Sana, which is Debri, Anab, Eshtemo, Anim, Goshen, Olon, and Gilo. 11 cities with their villages Arab, Duma, Asian, Janam, Beth, Tapwa, Aveka, Umta, Kijat Aba, which is Ibon, and Zio, 9 cities with their villages Mount, Camel, Zif, Juta, Jezreel, Jogdiam, Zona, Kain, Gibeah, and Timna, 10 cities with their villages Alol, Bedzor, <sighs> Gedor, Marat, Beth Anot, and El Tekon, six cities with their villages. Kijat Baal, which is which is Kijat Jerim, and Rabba, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Araba, Midin, Sekaka, <laughs> Niblash, Nibshan, the city of salt, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah as Jerusalem to this day. Woo! Two chapters read in 11 minutes. Chapter 16 The Lord fell to the children of Israel from the Jordan by Jericho to the water, to the waters of Jericho on the east, to the western, to the wilderness that goes up from Jericho. Through the, from Jericho through the mountains to Bethel, then went out from Bethel to Luz, passed along the, to the border of the Archa, of the Archites at Ataroth, and went down westward to the boundary of the Japhletite, as far as the boundary of Lower Lower Beth Oron to Gezer, and it ended at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. The border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus: the border of their inheritance. On the east, on the east side was Atarot, Ada was Atarot, Ada as far as Upper Beth Oron, and the border went out toward the sea on the north side of Me of Mech Metat. Then the border went around eastward to Tanat Shiloh and passed by it on the east of Janua. Then it went down from Janua to Atarot and Nara, reached to Jericho and came out at the Jordan. The border went out from Tapwa. From Tapa westward to the brook Kana, and it ended at the sea. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, according to their families. The separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages, and they did not drive out the Canaanites who dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites to this day and have become first laborers. Chapter 17. Oh. Chapter 17 and chapter 18. Chapter 17 is long. Chapter 18 is long. Okay, chapter 17. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, namely for Machar, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. Therefore, he was given Gilead and Bashan. And there was a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh, according to their families. For the children of Abiezer, the children of Elek, the children of Azrael, the children of Shechem, the children of Ever, and the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, according to their families. According to their families, but Zelo fared the son of Ever. I hope you can see him. Zeri. Is it really? Maybe it's the fun. But Zelo fared, the son of Ever, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons but only daughters. And these are the names and these are the names of his daughters. Mala, Noah, Noah, seriously, Hogla, Milka, and Tuza. And they came near before Eliezer the priest, but Joshua before Joshua, the son of Nun, and before the ruler, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. Therefore, according to the commandments of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among their fathers, among their fathers' brothers. Ten shares fell to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side of the Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead, and the territory of Manasseh was from Asher to Mich, to Mich Metat, that lies east of Shechem, and the border went along south to the inhabitants of En Tapwa. 
Manasseh had the land of Tapa, for Tapa on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And before, when Moses was alive, the Lord instructed Moses to give an inheritance to, to these daughters, to the daughters of this man that had no sons. And then some people came, some deep thinkers, they came to Moses and asked, what if someone marries, when someone marries these daughters and they are not from this tribe? So they will have the land of this tribe that is not theirs. So the Lord commanded, or I think Moses, Moses told them that they should not marry for the inheritance not to be mixed. They should not marry anyone that is not of their father's tribe. So now they have to marry someone of their father's tribe. Just some little explanation that I remembered. I just remember that from reading the read the past with this. Bro, where was I? Where was I? Talk at it. I can't remember where I stopped, so I'm going to read from verse 7. And the territory of Manasseh was from Asher to Mitch Metat, that lies east of the Sh of Shechem. And the border went along south to the inhabitants of Entapwa. Manasseh had the land of Tapwa, but Tapwa on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim, and the border descended to the brook Cana, southward to the brook. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The border of Manasseh was on the north side of the brook, and it ended at the sea. Southward, it was Ephraim's. Northward, it was Manasseh's, and the sea was its border. Manasseh's territory was adjoining Asher on the north and Issachar on the, on the east, and in Issachar and in Asher. Manasseh had Beth Shen and its town, Ounce, Ibleam and its towns, the, the inhabitants of Dor and its towns, the inhabitants of Endor and its towns, the inhabitants of Tanakh and its towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its towns, three hilly regions. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, for the Canaanites were determined to dwell in, the, in that land. And it happened when the children of Israel grew strong, as they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. Then the children of Israel spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given us only one lot and one share to inherit, since we are a great people, inasmuch as the Lord had, has blessed us until now. So Joshua answered them, If you are a great people, then go up to the forest country and clear a place for yourself there in the land of the Perizzites and the giants, since the mountains of Abraham are too confined, are too confined for you. But the children of Joseph said, the mountain, the mountain country is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites who dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both those who are of Beth Shean, and its towns, and those who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spoke to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, You are a great people, and have great power. You shall not only you shall not have only one lot, but the mountain country shall be yours. Although it is wooded, you shall cut it down, and its farthest extent shall be shall be yours, for you shall drive out the Canaanites, through those they have iron chariots and are strong. Chapter 18, 18 minutes. That's three, four, that's three, five seconds. That's six seconds. That's so, all. Chapter 19. Now the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, or Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of meeting there. And the land was subdued before them. But there, but there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, How long will you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has given you? Oh, you have to. <laughs> You have to possess land. Pick out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them. They shall rise and go through the land, survey it according to their inheritance, and come back to me, and they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall remain in their territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall remain in their territory on the north. You shall therefore survey the land in seven parts, and bring the survey here to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priests... For the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad, Reuben, and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan on the east, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. Then the men arose to go away, and Joshua charged those who went to survey the land, saying, Go, walk through the land, survey it, and come back to me, that I may cast lots 
for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went, passed through the land, and wrote the survey in a book in seven parts by cities. And they came to Joshua at the camp in Shiloh. Then Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land to the children of Israel according to their divisions. Now the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families. And the territory of their lot came out between the children of Judah and the children of, jo and of Joseph. Their border on the north side began as the border began as the Jordan. And the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north and went up through the mountains westward. It ended at the wilderness of Beth Avenue. The border went over from there toward Luz, the, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward, and the border descended to Atharoth, to Atharoth Ada, near the hill that lies on the south side of Lower Beth Oron. Then the border extended around the west side to the south, from the hill that lies before Beth Oron, southward, and it ended at Kijat Baal, which is Kijat Jerry, a city of the children of Judah, which was the west side. The south side began at the end of Kijat Jerry, and the border extended on the west and went out to the spring of the waters of Nephtoa. Then the then the borders then the border came down to the end of the mountain as lies before the valley of the son of Enom, which is in the valley of the raven on the north. Descended to the valley of Enom, to the side of the Jebusite, of the Jebusite city, on the south, and descended to Enrogel, and it went around from the north, went out to En Shemesh, and, ex and extended toward Gelilot, which is before the ascent of Adumim, and descended to the stone of Boan, the son of Reuben. Then it passed along, then it, pa then it passed along toward the north side of Araba, and went down to Araba. And the border passed along to the north side of Beth Ogla. Then the border ended at the northern bay, at the salt sea, at the end of the Jordan. This was the southern boundary. The Jordan was its border on its on the east side, which was the inheritance of the children of ben, of Benjamin, according to its boundaries all around, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, Beth Ogla, Emek Kezis, Beth Araba, Zemarim. Bethel, Avim, Para, Ovra, or Opera, <laughs> Je, Shepha, Amoni, Ofni, and Gaba. Twelve cities with their villages Gibeon, Rama, Beirut, Mizpah, Jevu, Che, Fia, Musa, Rekem, Upe, Tarala, Zela, Elev, Jebus, which is, which is Jerusalem, Gibet, and Gijat. Fourteen cities with their villages. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Hallelujah! We've come to the end of today's reading. Thank you, Father. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Mm. I'll see you in the next video. But before you go, I want to do some little talky talky. <laughs> okay. For the past, I mean this now. Rain has been falling. Rain as a funny i don't know the tension i used to feel before before the rain started falling that i liked that i liked feeling because <laughs> it was better to fucking do work stop swearing okay it was better to do work but now the rain the rain came and i'm feeling super comfortable which i don't like i feel like it's, it's a disadvantage i don't even know I'm feeling super comfortable. I don't want to. I have work to do. I really have work to do. A lot of work to do. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling comfortable wasting my time away. <laughs> I'm feeling comfortable wasting my time away. But now that I've said it, I now feel like I have to work. I'm not wasting my time. And I have someone to hold me accountable. Because I know people are going to watch this video. So, today, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to do something meaningful. Thank you very much for watching this video. And the next video, I'm going to see you. That will be tomorrow, by God's grace. If Christ is not here yet, I will see you tomorrow with another video. Stay tuned. Watch. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with anyone that you know needs it. Just share this video. Preach the gospel. Just share, 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 share. Touch people's life. Just by sharing, you can touch people's life. Just share to anyone your friends your family 
Just share to them, share and like this video too. And maybe comment, comment because I've not seen a single comment since the past 40 days of doing this. I've not, <laughs> I've not seen a single comment. Comment, just comment whatever you think. Comment. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. I feel like not. I don't feel like cutting this video. Like, I just don't feel like eating the stop button. I have it right here. I can click it. But I don't feel like clicking it. I just feel like talking to you guys. <laughs> but I don't know what to say. Just rambling. Whatever. Okay. Not to waste your time. Not to waste mine. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.